Hi, I'm John Fritzke, and I'm the assistant principal at the Byram Intermediate School, and I'm here again with two great students. Zach and Abby. And Zach and Abby are here today to tell you about the great learning that's been going on at the Byram Intermediate School. We have a shortened week this week, only three days, but there's still a lot going on. Hi, I'm Zach, and in fifth grade, Mrs. Garrity's language arts class, the kids are reading a book called Wonder, and they are writing narratives about their experiences in the middle school. In Mrs. Fermenter's language arts class, they are reading their Just Right books. Then they are learning how to make a run-on sentence into a complete sentence. In Mr. Morris's science class, they are learning about skeletons and the organ system. In Mr. Gallagher's class, they are making PowerPoints on the, about the 13 colonies. And in Mr. Capriotti's math class, they are learning logic and multiplying whole numbers. In Mrs. Manser's math class, they are using their addition, multiplying, dividing, and subtraction skills to plan a party with a budget. Hi, I'm Abby, and in sixth grade, in Mrs. Bardello's science class, they are learning about how to measure mass with a triple beam balance, and they are learning about volume with a graduated cylinder. And in Miss Mayhood's language arts class, they are learning. They are writing a story from a turkey's point of view. From a turkey's point of view. From, from a turkey's. For point Thanksgiving. Of view. Yeah. That's got to be pretty scary. Yes, that would be. And in Mr. Vogel's ancient civilization class, they are learning about Mesopotamia and all of her civilizations. And in Miss Hooker's math class, I think this is really cool. They are doing going on a website called Sumdog when they compete against students around the world to show off their math skills. That sounds awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, and in Miss McPeak's math class, they are solving equations by using multiplication and division. And in Mrs. Pierce's language arts class, they are writing personal narratives and doing project reads for predicate expanders. Okay, and now you know what's going on in sixth grade, and here's what's going on in seventh grade. In Mrs. Bollinger's English class, they're reading a, story, a novel called The Giver, and in Mr. Best's social studies class, we are learning the differences and similarities between Canada and USA. And in Ms. Lepis' science class, we are learning about cells, cell organisms, and originelles. In Ms. McPeak's math class, we are learning about one-step equations with multiplication and division. And in Mrs. Boyer's seventh grade class, they're learning about one-step equations, and in Ms. Boyer's pre-algebra class, they're learning about inequalities. And in Mr. Clayton's class, we are reading stories from Edgar Allan Poe, such as Telltale Heart and The Castle of Amontillado. Which one was your favorite? Amontillado. Uh, they were both very creepy to me. Yeah? Did you yeah. like one the best? No, they both kind of, like, hurt different people, so I wasn't that crazy about it. Okay. And we're also learning about verbs in Mr. Clayton's class, so that's what's going on in 7th grade. Hi, it's me again, and you heard me talking about 5th grade, now you're going to hear me talking about 8th grade. So Mr. Brooks' math class, they're learning about the Pythagorean theorem to figure out sides of a triangle. That's a tough word. Yeah, it, it's a long word too. In Mrs. Smith's math, cl math class, they are learning about linear equations, coordinate graphing, and continuing problem solving. In Mrs. Stevens' Writing class, they are writing short stories. In Mr. Hamer's writing and reading class, they are reading Flowers of Al Algernon. Algernon, good Algernon. job. Algernon. They are also finishing a paper where they choose a theme and relate, and they relate it to their lives. In Mrs. Ward's social studies class, they are learning about the American Revolution. In Mrs. Mizzarelli's science class, they are interpreting data to form a conclusion. Then they are finding the density of 12 cubes. Thanks for checking in with us. As you can tell, even though we only had three days of school this week, it was a busy week for the kids here at school, and we hope that you were able to learn about some of the things that are going on in our school. And the kids, I'm sure, hope that they have a great time on the couple days you guys have off. Zach, what are you doing with your days off? I'm um, probably going to sit at home, probably watch TV. And just wish you were back at school. I understand completely. Abby, how about you? I'm probably going to like spend time with my family and friends and go to like the movies and hang out. Cool. Very nice. Well, we'll miss you guys, and we look forward to seeing you on Monday. Have a good weekend.